So before I got to Japan, I sort of decided maybe I'll do a video every week, maybe at least once every two weeks. Um, and then I got here, and yeah, well that plan went out the window. Yeah, basically just been incredibly busy. Quite a lot's happened since I arrived, so I thought I'd take the time to make a video just to explain a little bit about what's happened over the past one, two months now. Okay, so firstly, the reason why I've been so busy is that this course is just incredibly intensive. <laughs> uh, compared to the course that I'm doing in the UK, this is probably three times as intensive, so we have classes every day, at least two Japanese classes, and they're back to back. So to go into our timetable a little bit, every class is 100 minutes long. We start at 9.10 in the morning, um, have a 100 minute lesson, 10 minute break, then another 100 minute lesson and then you get a lunch, lunch time's about an hour or so and then yeah, any other classes that you've got um, so my timetable through the week is Monday and Tuesday I have Japanese classes in the mornings uh, 9, 10 until 12.40 I think it is on Monday I also have a, it's like a special Japanese class basically we watch um, Japanese films and sort of analyse them and then for third period on a Tuesday I decided to do Shodo, which is Japanese calligraphy. Um, so we got given our own brushes. Um, that course is um, one that you have to opt in for and it does cost money. Um, the calligraphy one is 3,000 yen for a semester and that's pretty, you know, it's pretty cheap. And they supply you with the pen, the pen, the brush and paper. Um, every day we use quite a lot of paper, so yeah, I guess it's worth the money. But yeah, it's just a really good experience. I'll show you some of the bits that I've done already. Yeah, so I said we used a lot of paper. I mean, this is just two classes worth. Um, we've already gone through quite a bit of paper. I'll just show you some examples. So I've got this one. Um, the teacher said that this one's a really good one to practice um, strokes. A lot of like people who do shoulder quite often we we'll use this as like a practice character because um, it's got quite a few techniques that um, are important in Shodo. Uh, we were sort of focusing on this stroke here, trying to get this sort of shape right, but um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, I think, but it's, it's really difficult. Uh, another example is this one, Aoyama. Yeah, this is a really fun class. Um, I'd recommend it if you come here. Uh, I just recommend it anyway if you come to Japan just to try out Shodo. And then next semester we get different options to pick from. So this this time I picked calligraphy. But there's tea ceremony, flower arrangement and stuff like that. So next semester I'll pick maybe one of those. Um, maybe tea ceremony because then I get to eat stuff. But yeah, those are kind of special courses. So those ones you have to sort of apply for. Uh, they basically just pick your name at random. So you would get picked or you don't. So it's quite fair. Each one of these sort of special courses costs money. Um, and that's different amounts for different courses, so Shodo is one of the cheaper ones. And then you've got like flower arrangement, which I think is about 9,000 yen per semester. Because uh, obviously flowers are quite expensive, so. But in general, it's quite good value for money. But anyway, back to the courses. So on Wednesday, I have the morning free. I've actually dropped quite a few subjects, because I picked quite a few. Um, I've had 18 credits in total, but I only need 14 for my course, so I've dropped a few, um, which was absolutely necessary. But yeah, on Wednesday I've got Japanese classes again, but they start at third period, so 1.50 they start. And then, yeah, Thursday I have Japanese class in the morning again, and then I have a free period, and I also started a kind of like a part-time job working at the university, just basically helping out in one of the sort of English it's French and English dual learning class, so I just go in as an English native speaker and basically assist any way I can. And that's once a week, two hours. Hourly rate's not amazing, it's 900 and something yen, but you know, it's um, a bit of experience at the end of the day, plus a little bit of pocket money. And then on Friday I have Japanese class again in the morning, followed by English translation. Uh, for third period. So the English translation class is quite a fun one. Um, we actually study manga and we're using an English version of the manga and translating that into Japanese and the manga we're using at the moment is Koe no Katachi, uh, A Silent Voice. Um, I've only seen the movie but that was a really good movie and <laughs> yeah it's quite a fun class. Um, it's quite difficult but um, really quite fun. So yeah, that's it for my classes, um, but every day we get given quite a lot of homework and at the moment I think I got like two or three essays that I need to write and trying to balance all that with like living by yourself in quite a strange place 
um, it's quite difficult. And that leads me to my second point for why I've been a bit busy, is that I decided to join the baseball club. And it's my first time playing baseball, but it's absolutely, <laughs> it's so fun. And everyone on the team's really nice. Um, they're really friendly, even though like my Japanese is really bad, they're still like really, really friendly towards me. They also try to use English with me, which is pretty nice. So yeah, I joined that, and that's um, there's quite a few practices every week. I try to go as many as I can, but um, some of them are on the weekends. Um, weekends are the only days I have free, so those are quite difficult, but um, I do try to go to every practice that I can. So yeah, about clubs, um, there are plenty of clubs at this university, and most of them, to my knowledge, accept anyone. Uh, even if you don't have any prior experience, and even if you don't like speak Japanese, at least that's the case with the baseball club, as they're they're welcoming an anyone, uh, which is really nice. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update, just to you know let people know I'm still alive. <laughs> uh, it's going well. It's just really tough. I'm really busy. I don't get much sleep because. I'm not very good at waking up early, I'm not very good at going to sleep early either, so uh, that's something I need to work on. But um, yeah, it's been quite difficult, but um, I'll try my best and pull through. We've already done quite a few fun things. I've been on two trips. One was a... Uh, we went to Amano Hashidate, which is like one of the three most beautiful places in Japan. So I'm making a video and that'll be coming out soon about that. Um, but a few weeks ago I also went to Fukui prefecture uh, to basically experience how rice is harvested. Uh, during that trip I experienced quite a lot of things. Straight away as soon as we got to our destination in Fukui I was sort of put into the middle of a Shinto ritual <laughs> uh, which was an experience. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's basically about a big project that these um, Japanese students have been doing for the past year where they've um, been growing their own rice and I got to see the rice get processed into edible rice and go to the factory and see that happen and that was a really good experience um, and I really enjoyed myself so I've been invited to go back next year, which I will do, I'm looking forward to that, to basically experience the whole process of planting the rice, growing it and then reaping the benefits at the end so I'm looking forward to that. Um, at this university we're quite lucky because they send you on study trips and it's all paid for by the uni so yeah as I said I went to Amano Hashidate recently and they paid for everything we had like a big buffet lunch and everything like that so that was really cool but anyway yeah basically just been really busy I'm really tired and not a lot of time to do the things that I want to do really, um, just a lot and lot of studying. So if you're looking for an intense course, definitely come here. Um, but if you want to study abroad and basically have a lot of time to explore and do your own thing, it's probably not the best place to come to because it is very intense. However, the teachers are all really amazing and I think my Japanese is definitely going to improve over this next year. I mean, classes only started about a month ago and I've already improved quite a lot, I think. Um, especially in my confidence in speaking, which was my worst point. So yeah, if learning Japanese is your goal, come here. <laughs> but anyway, video about Amano Hashidate is coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, see you next time.